Hello! We've been doing some wildlife photography this morning. There's my little setup. I'll show you that later. We've been doing some wildlife photography out there because we've got some really strange wildlife appeared on the site. There's where I'm doing my wildlife spotting. Got my trail cam set up over there. But look at this wildlife. Hey! We've come to see the nature. It's the wildlife. <laughs> look at this little fella. Oh, oh. snortering again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Rub your nose. Is that it? You get too there you go. Oh, look, look at him. There we are. Northerners on tour. Mark Hello. and Lisa. And you know her. And him. <laughs> look at him. Oh, I want one. Right, we're going out for a walk. I've seen a bird and he's, he knows the name of it. Yeah. Have you? What is it? You, what, what did you say it was? I what didn't say what it were, but you wanted to, yeah, watch. What did that? I forgot what I said it was now. The lesser spotted tree warbler or something. <laughs> tree creeper. Oh, is it? Oh, that's it's a tree creeper. Tree warbler. It's almost as bad as a like scuttlefish. A red, oh, God, don't start that one. <laughs> Let's go for a so walk. This is right at the bottom of the site. You see all these big lodges here. Look at them. Look, absolutely flipping stunning. There's loads of these down here. This loop goes up back here, over the top. We've just been walking around chatting, but it's absolutely stunning. Look, some of them have got wood burning stoves in. But wouldn't you love to live here? This is probably the only place I'd actually come and stay for a rest of my life on this site. It's flipping lovely. And look up there, look. Absolutely beautiful. So we're just doing a big loop. There's like a big circular loop from where we're pitched over there. You can walk all the way around the campsite, down through all these lodges, and there is where we walked on the last, I don't think you can see through the trees there, there's people walking down there. But that's the track we walked down to go to the river. The river spays over there. And we're walking back round here you go through the woods so i don't know where they're going you go through the woods and it takes you round back round behind the shop and where you book in the main office for the site so yeah look at them look. and all the way around you you've got all these beautiful mountains stunning isn't it they just realized they've gone down the wrong way <laughs> not that way it's this way <laughs> <laughs> oh, they've got some beers in the fridge. <laughs> and look at that, look, through there. There's dog waste bins all round the pit, all round the site. And they're emptied regularly. And it? It's really good. Look at that, look. Come on, Raven. He's got his Scottish colour on, look, and his jumper, look. Ah. Look at that. Beautiful. And all round these parts, this, this is the train track here. So all round these woodlands, in the autumn, it's full of fungi. It's absolutely fantastic. I think we might probably come back up here in the summer, head for the autumn. But you've got all red squirrels round here badgers you know your um, pine mines and stuff and I put my trail cam out as well so baited it out with a bit of peanut butter so we'll see what comes to that tonight you never know well it's a tree stump isn't it look at that look. He stood on that tree stump and had a poo. Look at that, that poo, look. He's trying to, how he's small is that? He? He's trying to yeah, Probably won't put that on because no one wants to see a poo, but <laughs> it's like, it's no bigger than a squirrel <laughs> poo. Up on that end, did <laughs> There's another loop there. There's more lodges on. And that looks like some sort of fire pit thing they've put there. And there's a little football pitch for your kids to come and have a knock around on. So they don't need to hang around where your pitch is. They can come and play and there's a fence around the whole site. So you can't get off the site. Absolutely beautiful. And this little road here takes you back down to the entrance. So we're taking them back down there now. But yeah, you can all sit around there and have a little fire in the middle. 
That's new. That wasn't here last time. I was flattening all this off last time. But that goes, you can see, there's a tear here, a tear in the middle, a tear up the top. And then behind them trees are more lodges. So that's a massive site. I don't think I've taken you down here before in any other vlogs. Just for the fact it takes you all day to walk around here, really. And again, through this, there's another dog poop in there, look. And then through here are more lodges. So, get yourself to Dale Raddy. It's flipping magic here. And it's so, I was saying to Lisa and Mark, it's such a big expanse, the Alvey Forest Estate, this Alvey Estate, where Dale Raddy is. It's such a massive campsite. You're not on top of each other, which I hate. Some camping sites, you're like, you open your curtain and there's someone else looking straight through, like six foot away. Not here, you've got rare trees in between you. And there's wildlife flying around and everything feels natural. It's proper nice. There you go. Please clean up after your dog. That means you, yes. And please keep your dogs under close control at all times. That means a lead and that means you as well. The amount of people I go on a campsite and they've got their dog running around, little fluffy kins, little flipping Bichon freeze or something, and it's running around. We've had one run over and try to attack Raven. He's on a lead. And that's a Bichon freeze, but he still tried to attack him. And you think, hang on a minute, this rule is here for, to make everyone safe. So if their dog run over to him, who's off a lead, supposed to be on a lead, and he bites it, what'd you do? Anyway, that's my only rant of the day. And there's some uh, oh, static, static caravans. So some of these are for rent, some people have got these as, as seasonal pitches. But this loop here takes you back round to the shop and I can just about see the end up there of a wooden sided building that's the uh, lower facilities so there's a nice washing facilities and stuff in there so but again it's a huge site I've not really walked around here in one whack because it'd just be a massive long video anyway look at this hello you lot Right, in the van at the moment, taking some photographs and video for you. And Raven's helping. Of our little pitch guests. Sammy's over here, look. <laughs> That's what you call photography in comfort. That's me there. This is great. In the wall, just about to take a dog out. Getting some fantastic wildlife photography in. What's not to like? Just sitting in the van. And I'm videoing our visitors. Just for you. I'll show you my setup. There's my setup. I'll put the links to that in the information below. So that is what I'm using. So I'll hold the camera still. So there's a newer gimbal on there. I use that in hides, etc. And I've got my 300mm f2.8 lens on with my Canon R5. But I'll show you next. What little visitors we've got.
I said it was going to be a bit, bit of a bitty video, this one. But now we my mate Chris, who runs Alvey Forest Foods. We've come down to see a couple of good special f friends of his. But we're now on the Alvey Estate. And it's bloody beautiful here. We've already seen buzzards, red deer and stuff. Now you have a look at this fella. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Most people have a dog. Look, Chris has got like a giant bullock. Size of him. Oh, look. His name's Thor. Thor. He is so cute. Let's go around the other side. Look at the size of him. He's the size of a house. Of, of a, I was going to say house. Oof. Look at him. Hello. Hello. Oh, wow. Hello. Look at his feet. He's all frozen. <laughs> Look, he's all frozen up. Hello, mate. Oh, pal. Size of him. Hello. Look. Have a sniff. What an amazing animal. There is one of the lady's pets. She got him for a pet. Look at him. Look. Chris comes down here and strokes him all the time. And then over there, where the old sun is, is a sheep. But I'll spin you around and give you a look where we are. Look at that. Look. There's red deer over there. Beautiful, isn't it? And there's the other one. That's the companion sheep for the bull. What's his her name? Alicia. Alicia. Hello. Come on. Oh. <laughs> what breed is that? Oh, I cannot remember the last kind. Come on then. Come on then. Come on then. What an amazing looking shape. That thing on his head, like that. That's her horn. Horn, yeah. yeah. Oh, look. That's a very good scratchy, don't you? I mean, she's usually <laughs> look at her face. At least she like proper that. likes that, mate. Yeah. Oh, that's my foot. <laughs> Oh, look at her face, look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she flippy loves that, mate. Yeah. Oh, she's beautiful. They absolutely love each other. Really? Sleep with that so we bed there. Right. She's a lovely looking sheep, isn't she? Yeah, she's quite old. Really? Tame as hell. Basically a pet, isn't Yeah. Oh, she's gorgeous. What a beautiful animal, eh? Look at her. She's clever as well. Really? Amazing, look. How flipping cool is that? Very lovely. So Chris is just giving me a bit of a tour today. We're having a little look around, see what we can see. Fingers crossed. I've just seen a buzzard perched up on a on a post. But that over there would have missed the clouds coming down through the valley there. That's incredible. And it's a wee bit cold. He uses Chris as a scratching post. Look at that. I can't go over how big he is, he's huge. So what is he a short horn? Yeah. He's getting all the scratches. Oh. Yeah. 
see us. Brilliant. What well, beastie. Happy days. So apparently there's loads of red squirrels on this estate. A really nice mixed woodland. Silver birch and spruce and scots pine and that. I'll see if I can get a picture of that red deer over there actually. So we just stopped at Chris's house for a cuppa. He lives here. The jammy git. But look at his view. He gets up to this every morning, right? Look at that. Yes, yeah, red deer come past his house. That's insane. What a flipping view. I'm well jealous. And now, over the back there, looks like a quarry over the back. What a flipping gorgeous place. Right, that's it, I'm moving. <laughs> What's this place called, mate? <laughs> <laughs> We're struggling with the names, you know. What is it? Eh? Uth Locken. This is. So I'm just having a little scoot up here. Don't, so, <laughs> don't yeah, you know what my pronunciations are like. Chris uh, is just showing us up over here, over this Locken. Sort of having a bit of a tour today, mate. I mean, a bit of a drive around. Because generally we sort of go to a campsite and look around the campsite and don't really drive out at places, so don't get to see much. We don't really don't if you know what I mean. But let's come down. Yeah. But this looks like it's leaning this tree. Look at the size of it. Amazing, isn't it?
when Chris says, come on, we go for a wee walk, <laughs> you need to worry. Flip. Look, it's been like an assault course. But, look at this, look. Huffy puffy. Look at that. It's worth it for that view, isn't it? Look at that. <sighs> Hope there's a pub up here. <laughs> oh, Chris has just put flipping Raiders of the Lost Ark on. The music, it's like that. <sighs> up or out, I'm going over this one. Mind you, be careful of them bits. Problem with me and Chris is, we've only got wee legs. So, oh. There's a bridge just there. We drove across that a little while ago. See where the masters. That was my house just underneath. Oh, God. <laughs> Beautiful, eh? Worth the walk. back down now this was worth the graft getting up here I mean it's like an obstacle course the whole width down there somewhere parked up but look at this look it's literally like an obstacle course I mean these trees are hundreds of years old big old Scots pine there and it's just in them storms no let up it's devastated the area but look at that it's graft getting up here but That's insane, isn't it? Beautiful view. There you go, isn't that nice? Done all this. Risked life and limb. Give you that view. Better flipping give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> I'm a wee bit stuck. I won't go that way. So I leave that video there, that's a bit of a trek up with Chris, flipping hell. Next time he says, do you want to go for a wee walk, I'm going to question him about it. It was like up in the mountains. Anyway, it's freezing cold today, we've got a couple of problems, which I'll probably tell you about later, but just saying goodbye to these beautiful people. Uh, Hello, 
leaving you again. Oh, we'll catch up again. We will. Melbourne is on tour. Get over, put a link in below. So get over and flip and subscribe to them. <laughs> Absolutely lovely. Really funny. Mark oh. never falls over. I'll never slip, never. He never slips, never falls over. So you'll be, you'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well. Yeah, we'll see you in a bit, my love. Yeah. So, yeah. Just one thing before I go, have you got any sun cream? Because my head might burn today. Oh, I've got sun cream. Do you want to put some on? I'll let you get frostbite. Right. Alright, anyway, see you later. You take care, stay safe, stay sane, and I'll see you on the flip side. Bye! Bye.